Hey guys, what's going on? So today I have a contest entry for Julian Lopez's uh, 100 subscribers um, contest giveaway. So um, yeah, he has uh, five questions um, that I have to answer. So um, yeah, uh, definitely check out his channel. Really cool guy, uh, fellow Julian. <laughs> um, I'll put a link to his video in the description. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be really fun to do. So the first question is: Show an album from your childhood, and. Um, there's a couple albums I could think of for this, but the one that really came to mind first was the White Stripes with this digital. Um, I, I was obsessed with this band in elementary school, um, before I got into any punk or metal, so I had to show this. And this is my favorite from them. Very bluesy kind of vibe, like great songs, like, um, uh, Hello Operator, um, their cover of Death Letter from Sun House, um, Jumble Jumble, uh, Why Can't You Be Nicer to Me, um, Truth doesn't make a noise. It's just a really great album, and they're best in my opinion. Although a lot of people will say like Elephant, but a lot of the songs on that album are overplayed. So yeah. Um, second question is people um, an album that people wouldn't expect you to listen to. Um, for me, that's another album from elementary school, but, but an album that I still listen to to this day, um, and that'll be um, Siamese Dream from the Smashing Pumpkins. I don't currently own an, an, um, a copy of that album in physical format, but something I have that's very close to it is a box set of all the singles from that album. Um, sign me singles. I've done a video on this out on this box set before, but it um it's actually signed by Billy Corgan, which is cool. He's a douchebag, um, in my opinion, but it's just cool that's signed. And uh, I'll just show the individual sleeves. But I fucking adore the album. Um, so many great songs like Rocket and Today, and Mayonnaise and Geek USA, and every song on the album is just perfect. It's just a masterpiece. I fucking love it, and it's pretty different from what I listen to because I mostly listen to punk and, ha and hardcore and metal. So, yeah. All right. Third question is, what's your favorite live album? My favorite live album is probably I don't know if this would count as um, a live album, but that's Napalm Death's Grind Madness at the BC um, um, Eric Peel Sessions. So it's a compilation of three live performances um, that were streamed on the um, radio. So I don't know if this would count as a live album, but it. It's like a compilation of white performances, and it's fucking great. Um, very raw. Um, actually, almost, I almost like this better than the um, the studio albums, uh, Scum, and From the Slave to Obliteration. But it's not quite as good as those. But it's more raw and more chaotic. It's just really fun and um, just really awesome and really just really awesome. And I'm, repeat, I'm repeating the same thing over. It's just really fun to blast this album. It's just really good. And something that's really cool about this. All I'm showing it is that it's not a color, a color variant that's limited to 500 on a green and white splatter, so I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, I fucking love that album. It's just really, just, really, just, I don't know. Really fun. Good skill, grindcore. I'm repeating myself too much. But uh, yeah, Napalm, and most people who are into Napalm Death actually don't know about this, so check this out if you haven't. It's great, so yeah, Napalm Death. Um, your red fuel sessions. All right. Um, next question was an album that from a band that or an, ah, an artist that went solo, and um, the only one I own that I could think of um, that I listen to sometimes is Ozzy Osbourne, uh, Memoirs of a Madman. This is just a compilation. This isn't an actual studio album. It's a decent compilation, although it's not the best Ozzy um, greatest hits CD. Um, but this is kind of a filler answer. Um, sorry about that, but I couldn't think of a Another album to show because I don't own any like albums from like artists that went solo, but uh, there's some good songs here, like you know, Crazy Train, Mr. Crowley, <clears throat> Over the Mountain, Flying High Again, Bark at the Moon, The Ultimate Sin, Miracle Man. It's pretty good. All right, now for her last question, it was make an album recommendation, and um, an album that I can't recommend, like I have to re recommend to anybody um, who's into punk or metal, would have to be Human Equals Garbage by Dystopia. Just fucking killer. It's a mix of crust punk and um, sledge metal. I actually discovered it from the YouTube channel Killbot and Warrior Attack. It's just fucking awesome. Um, it's a really depressing album. Um, we're very like street kind of vibe almost, and very urban sounding. Um, really snotty sounding vocals. Um, amazing, really sludgy guitar riffs. Um, the bass lines are really good. Um, there's actually some grindcore elements in it too. It's just really awesome. Um, I really wish I owned it, but I don't currently have it. I should pick it up on vinyl sometime. But, uh, yeah, my album recommendation would have to be Dystopia with Human Equals Garbage. Definitely check it out if you haven't. So, um, yeah, so I answered all the questions. 
So yeah, um, congrats on 100 subs, dude. Uh, you totally deserve it. Your channel is awesome. Um, everybody go subscribe to Julian Lopez. Like I said, I'll put a link to his video in the description. So uh, yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and all that stuff. See you guys next time.